We're in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you how to split a cell diagonally so it can contain two headers. One header for your column headings, one header for your row headings. I'll also show you how to do this with color. So you start off by selecting the cell that you want to split diagonally. And the first thing you want to do is to type the header for your column headings and then Alt Enter on your keyboard and that will bring you down onto a new line within the same cell when you want to type the header for your row headings. Then go up to the header for your column headings and add some spaces before it so it moves it over to the right side of the cell. Press enter. Then you want to add the diagonal line. So to do that you need to select the cell and you need to go into the Format Cells dialog box. You can do that either with a right click, Format Cells, or Control-1 on your keyboard. Now once you're in this dialog box, go to the Border button and decide upon the style of the diagonal line that you want in your cell. I'm just going to click with this plain, thin line here. And then you can have this diagonal line or this diagonal line. So I'll go for this one, click on OK and you now have a cell split diagonally. Now let's go on to splitting the color. So for this, what you want to do is type in the header for your column headings, press enter to confirm, and then you need to change the alignment. And you can do that on the home tab of your ribbon. It needs to be top aligned and then right aligned. Then you want to add your diagonal line. So with the cell still selected, control one on your keyboard, a thin line is fine for this. Choose your diagonal line, click on OK. And then you're going to need to add a triangle in this part of the cell. So go to the Insert tab on your ribbon. In the Illustrations group, go to Shapes. Choose the right triangle. Then hold down Alt on your keyboard and that will snap to grid. And draw your triangle. Then type in the header for your row headings and press enter. Now obviously it doesn't look right at the moment. Select the triangle somewhere on its border, control one on your keyboard. That opens up format shapes on the right side of your screen. And you need to go to text options and then to this little button text box. And I found that if I change the alignment to middle, that works quite well. And then you need to play around with these margins. So if I change the left margin to 0.11 and the right margin to zero, I can see my header. If you want to get rid of the border at the top of the triangle, you can go to Shape Options, Line, and take the border off. Now to change the color of the other part of this cell, make sure the cell is selected. Go to the Home tab on your ribbon, go to the Fill Color button, and select your color. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.